Hi, it's Katrina. From strange alien skulls to a terrifying sea monster washed up on the shore, here are 11 of the strangest discoveries from Russia. Number 11. Demonic Skulls and Nazi Briefcase A team of explorers were out and about in a remote mountain range in Russia when they came across some very strange skulls. These skulls have enormous eye sockets and a strangely curved shape with what look like horns sticking up. The men described the skulls as coming from an alien creature, and they look like nothing ever seen before. In a separate discovery, a hermit nearby found a briefcase in the same forest which has the logo of a secretive Nazi institute founded by Heinrich Himmler in 1935. People immediately made the connection between the briefcase and the skulls. It's a well-known fact that Hitler and his friends were obsessed with the occult and looking for aliens. Many conspiracy websites connected the mysterious skulls with the occultism of the SS institution and concluded the skulls could be from aliens or demons or some sort of dark monster. Paleontologists have dismissed the skulls as just deformed heads, but they look quite real, except nobody knows where they came from. Perhaps some sort of extinct creature? or something much more sinister is lurking in the Russian woods. Number 10. Tombs of Warrior Women A tomb was recently discovered in Russia with four legendary warrior women buried together. The tomb goes back over 2,500 years, and the women buried inside of it belong to the group of nomadic people known as the Scythians. The Scythians were a race of warriors, one of the only ancient civilizations that may have actually resembled the Amazonian warriors from ancient Greek mythology. The Scythians lived in small tribes and wore pants, which was crucial to being able to constantly ride a horse. Boys and girls were trained from an early age to fight with a bow and arrow. Imagine school back then, horseback riding and warfare practically as soon as you were able to walk. About one-third of the Scythian women who have been found in burial plots were buried with weapons, with many of them having evidence of war wounds. In total, archaeologists Valery Guliaev and team found 19 burial mounds near the village of Devitsa. The tomb containing the four women spans three generations, with the youngest girl found roughly around 12 years old when she died. The other two were in their 20s, and the oldest around 50. The grave shows all indications of burial rites used for men also being used for these women. The oldest woman was buried wearing an engraved gold headdress called a kalathos, which was still sitting on her head 2,500 years later. It's the first of its kind ever found in the region. Archaeologists also found iron daggers, spears, a bronze mirror, and jewelry made from glass beads. The official statement says that the woman was buried in the position of a horseman, as of riding a horse for eternity. Number 9. A Dead Alien a dead alien has apparently been found in the middle of nowhere, Russia. At least, that's what it looks like in a video uploaded online by All News Web. According to the description in the video, the dead alien was discovered in the Buryatia region of Russia, very near the UFO hotspots deep in Siberia. The film is a bit fuzzy. It shows a pair of Russian men speaking as they walk across a snowy field. They then reveal what is apparently an extraterrestrial being. The creature is small too small to be a person. It looks kind of shriveled, it has a huge gray head, giant black eyes, and all the telltale markings of a very real monster from outer space. In the video, the Russian men claim that they found the alien about two hours before taking the video. They also say that judging by the freezing temperatures, it had been sitting there in the snow for several days. Some people are skeptical about the video, calling it a hoax. But at the same time, others say it could be the proof we've been waiting for that aliens really do exist. There was never any information on what happened to the creature after it was discovered. The video just kind of ended, and that was it. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Submarine Hideout Hidden deep in Russian territory is a creepy abandoned submarine hideout that could apparently be used once again if a new world war were to break out. The submarine hideout is a dark maze of tunnels, likely built as a nuclear shelter for submarines by the Soviet Union after the end of the Great War. However, the secret submarine hideout was never actually used. The construction began in the 1960s, gradually slowed in the 1980s as things in the Soviet Union began to fall apart and was never finished. The tunnels were recently exposed by a group of curious locals from Vladivostok on the far east coast of Siberia. 
These people explored the network of tunnels and took tons of photographs. The main part of the hideout has two giant parallel tunnels joined together by smaller tunnels, with the main ones big enough to hold some of the biggest submarines on the planet today. In total, there are thousands of feet of tunnels. Very strange is that the urban explorers said the background radiation was unusually high, which shouldn't be possible unless the base was hiding some kind of nuclear stockpile, or it had been at some point. Today, the Russian Navy's Great Pacific Fleet is stationed at Vladivostok. It includes at least one huge missile carrier, five destroyers, and ten nuclear submarines. If war were to ever break out, this mysterious submarine hideout could finally see some action. The worst part is that it's looking straight across the ocean at Alaska. Number 7. Castle of Bones Researchers in Russia have recently uncovered a bizarre structure made from hundreds of bones. 25,000 years ago, a group of primitive hunter-gatherers built their very own castle out of bones. But they didn't use human bones or even deer bones. Instead, they built a giant circular structure out of the skeletal remains of 60 huge mammoths. And to tell you the truth, researchers have no idea why or what purpose the megalithic bone structure could have possibly served. But here's where things get a little strange. Scientists say it isn't the first structure built of mammoth bones found in Russia. In the 1960s and 70s, scientists found other structures that are eerily similar, with one of them about 310 miles from Moscow. Then in 2014, researchers found evidence of this newest structure and began excavations. It took years to uncover the entire thing, and experts now know that this is the oldest and biggest mammoth house anywhere in the country. Experts were able to date the bones back to the Ice Age. The best guess is that Paleolithic people used the structure as a house. They built a huge shelter from bones and probably fashioned its walls from mammoth fur, using the place as a refuge during the brutally harsh Ice Age winters. Back then, the temperatures frequently dropped below 4 degrees Fahrenheit. In total, the mammoth structure consisted of at least 51 mandibles and 64 skulls, along with many other random bones. But some researchers are not convinced it was just a house. Since there are no other animal bones, it implies that people didn't live here. It's exclusively woolly mammoth remains, and Marjolin Bosch, a zoo archaeologist at the University of Cambridge, says it was built to last. Its enormous size implies that it was meant to last as a landmark or some type of meeting place or ceremonial center. There is evidence that people here, 25,000 years ago, used fire, and it may have been used to dry meat. Whatever the case, it looks like there was a lot going on here, raising many intriguing questions about the people who built this mammoth house. Number 6. An Ancient Buried Church A mysterious structure was found buried underground in Russia, and scientists are saying it could be the oldest church in the entire world, although there are some other contenders. This bizarre structure was found near the ancient fortress of Narim Kala, an archaeological site that dates back to around the year 300 AD. Scientists found a cross-shaped structure hidden 36 feet deep under the ground. But unfortunately, the archaeological site is already a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and so archaeologists can't legally excavate the church, meaning its function still remains a mystery. There are a few prime theories. This structure could have served as a reservoir, it may have been a Zoroastrian fire temple, or it could have been a Christian church. This is according to a statement released from the National University of Science and Technology in Russia. Which one do you think it was? To try to get to the bottom of the mystery, researchers implemented special scanners to recreate the underground structure. They used the same scanners that scientists used back in 2017 to find the mysterious void inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. The scans confirmed that the building is shaped like a cross, but it hasn't actually brought researchers any closer to figuring out its purpose. If it really is a church, it could date back to the earliest part of the Common Era, 2,000 years ago. Number 5. Ancient Necropolis A unique necropolis was just found near Moscow that dates back 4,500 years ago, to around the same time that the pyramids were being built. The discovery came during an expedition led by Russia's Institute of Archaeology. It was found in the Istra region, with the graves inside the necropolis belonging to people from the mysterious Fatyanovo culture. These were the first farmers who ever lived in Russia. Inside of their graves, researchers uncovered battle axes, a spear, a collection of arrowheads, and a whole lot of skeletons. According to researchers, this was a very exceptional find. 
An acropolis like this hasn't been uncovered in nearly three decades. The Fatyanovo culture appeared around 2900 BC and thrived in the beautiful Russian forest for about 900 years. Judging by the placement of the stone axe inside of the burials, scientists believe these people originated from places in Eastern Europe, like Poland or Belarus, where those kinds of customs were common. Oddly enough, it was the arrival of these people in the virgin forests of Russia that marked the beginning of the Bronze Age, as they began to breed cattle, master agriculture, and work with copper and bronze. However, this was still a very long time ago, and it's difficult for scientists to locate evidence of the Fatyanovo culture, as they usually made their graves in the sandy soil where nothing stays preserved for thousands of years. Number 4. Strange Hole in a Bear Skull A very strange skull was recently found dating back 35,000 years. The skull belongs to a cave bear from the Ice Age. This was a massive creature that roamed much of the Russian tundra before eventually going extinct when the Ice Age ended. But what makes this skull so strange is that there is a mysterious hole right in the back of its head that looks suspiciously like a hole made by a spear. Nobody can say for certain what made the hole in the back of the bear's skull, but if it was a spear, it would be the earliest example ever documented of a cave bear being hunted by human beings. Right now, scientists think the bear was killed while it was hibernating. This would make sense, seeing as the hole was in the back of its skull. Somebody must have snuck up on it, killed it, then hauled it away to skin and eat. The only issue here is that there are other things that can make holes in skulls. Researchers from Ural Federal University found the skull in the Imane Cave in the Ural Mountains, but they found no evidence of a spear nearby. The bear could have cracked its head on something. Or the hole in the skull could have been caused by water dripping on the back of the skull for thousands of years as it sat in the cave. It's hard to say for sure. But what we do know is that living 35,000 years ago amongst cave bears and mammoth bones for shelter in freezing temperatures sounds extremely scary. Number 3. Holes in the Ground There are some very large holes appearing in the Siberian tundra and people are getting pretty worried. Beginning in 2020 and carrying through to 2021, scientists have investigated several giant craters found mysteriously in the middle of nowhere looking like giant holes where worm monsters are burying deep into the earth. Some of the craters are up to 100 feet deep and 60 feet wide, with each of them being perfectly circular. At first, scientists didn't understand this. How does a hole explode in the middle of the Siberian tundra for no reason? But as it turns out, there is a reason. Scientists say the holes have been the result of a buildup of methane gas. As Russia records its hottest year in modern history, the permafrost is melting. This means that methane is escaping the ground in huge quantities. When the methane escapes too quickly, it creates a bubble. That bubble explodes, blowing a crater like a pit to hell in the earth. You just better hope nobody's standing at that exact spot when it happens. They'd honestly be better off fighting a grenade. Number 2. The Russian Connection a new study has revealed the oldest link between the Native Americans and their ancestors from the other side of the world. While archaeologists were excavating a small site near Lake Baikal, close to the border of Mongolia, they recovered some ancient relics, including reindeer bones, tools made of bone, and a small piece of a human tooth. Then, archaeologist Svetlana Schneider with the Russian Academy of Sciences brought the tooth in for evaluation. After DNA testing, the team discovered that the tooth dates back 14,000 years. They then dug deeper and checked out the genome of the individual that the tooth belonged to. This person was a man, and the scientists were shocked to see that he shared a common ancestry with the Native Americans of today, as well as Eurasians and East Asians. As of now, that makes this man the oldest known relative to Native Americans living in modern Canada and the United States. This has a few interesting implications. It means that the population from which the Native Americans emerged occupied an enormous region of Eurasia, meaning many parts of China, Mongolia, Russia, and Kazakhstan. Then, for a reason still unknown to scientists, some of them crossed from Siberia into Canada using the Bering Strait, effectively separating themselves from the rest of the world for over 10,000 years. Number 1. Sea Monster a mysterious sea monster has washed up on a Russian beach and nobody has any idea what it is. At least nobody knew in the beginning. 
The issue here is that the Russian sea monster looked like a weird cross between a crocodile and a dead whale. It had a skull like some kind of crocodilian, with sharp teeth and powerful jaws, but it also seemed to be covered in a gross black fur. Its body was about 20 feet long and mostly skeletal. It was allegedly found by a group of soldiers posted on the island of Sakhalin in eastern Russia, near the border of Japan. The monster freaked out the local population so much that the soldiers took the carcass away eight years ago to have it tested. They needed to know if this was a real creature or a freaky sea monster. Finally, after all this time, we have answers, and it turned out to be the remains of a poor beluga whale and not a mythical sea beast. Still, it was creepy enough to warrant an investigation. Thanks for watching! Have you ever been to Russia? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!